Hey guys, welcome back to the Watt Dog Project 365, episode 1480. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewatdoc.com. Check out all of our full length videos, that's where we house them. Today, what we're doing is using a large mobility ball to get up into our adductor, specifically at the insertion of our adductor right next to the ischial tuberosity. Now, if you don't know where the ischial tuberosity is, it's your sit bones. We talk about your sit bones in yoga and stuff like that. If you put your hand underneath your butt and you feel that bone that pops in directly underneath, pretty much into my fingertips now, that is going to be your ischial tuberosity. Okay? The adductors attach the inside portion of that, so almost like into the crack, so to speak, of your buttock there. What we're going to do is we're going to use a mobility ball and we're going to just sit off the side. Now this will work on a box in the gym or something else like that, but we're going to get in this side step position because we're not going to be able to put as much pressure on if we were to sit totally on this, plus we wouldn't have control. So here's where we're at. We're going to just go to the side of our hip directly down because those sit bones, if we're sitting up nice and tall, will be directly underneath there. We're going to slide that ball in and it's going to be deep. It's kind of towards the inside portion of my groin here. So it's going to be on the, like, the opposite portion, um, or I should say like the inside portion of like that gluteal fold. And what we're going to do from right here is we're just going to go ahead and start to explore. We're exploring on that butt bone itself. If we were to take something, and this is the, this is the, the ischial tuberosity, what we're doing here is we're going to roll the ball around that ischial tuberosity, okay? This is going to allow us to get the adductor insertion, some of the hamstring as well. So all I'm doing is a little circle, and you'll notice that my knee, um, my hip here, is semi-flexed, and I'm controlling the intensity of this with the opposite leg. Now, you could do this on the ground, but it makes it really, really difficult. It's a lot easier to do on a chair or a box or any other elevated position. So what I want you guys to do here is just see how I'm doing these circles. I'm going clockwise and counterclockwise every now and then. You might have to reposition the ball. But when you do that, you're going to feel as I go around that tissue, around that ischial tuberosity, all those tissues under there will start to relax and we'll get a little bit of mobility within there. So try this, find a hot spot. If you find a hot spot on the ischial tuberosity, rather than going completely around, stop, go on one side, semi-circular, right? Turn that 10 into a five, and of course, always test and retest. Maybe use your squat, your lunge, your jog, whatever that might be. Questions, comments, guys, post it below. Otherwise, we're here each and every, every day, optimizing function, optimized performance.